piece is by Uriel Orlo. It's one of the newest acquisitions in the Towner collection. Um, it's called The Short and the Long of It. And it describes through many different elements um, the, a period in which uh, a number of ships were stranded in the Suez Canal following the Six Day War. Uh, the ships actually ended up being stranded for over eight years. And it just describes um, that period, how the sailors coped with that, what, what they did to entertain themselves, um, and, and various um, has, has gathered various elements of, of that of that archive, together with Uriel's own uh, work that he's made about this particular um, forgotten element of history. So the, the work is made up of um, different elements, and one of the pieces in it is this uh, international shipping flag called Mike. Um, and Mike, in, in shipping language, basically means I'm stranded. Um, it is not a replica of the Scottish flag, as a number of our visitors have pointed out to us. The works in this room represent a body of work that we've recently acquired for the collection by the artist Matthew Miller. Um, Miller's quite interested in those um, areas of our landscape that are disguised or hidden or forgotten. Um, the mast here to my left is um, an actual mobile phone mast situated just north of Brighton on the A23. Um, and it's disguised as a tree and very hard to see, but sort of represents how, how we have Try to, try to disguise our own technology, I suppose, in, within our landscape. This work by Matthew Miller is called Potter's Field. Um, it's based on an actual area of landscape in New York State, um, and it describes uh, an area of uh, Porpoise Burial, so where a landscape that's been used for, for burying the dead, basically, in unmarked graves. Um, looking down as though you were flying over it and getting a sense of the, the kind of hidden topography of, of that particular landscape. You can see the, the elements um, uh, just sort of buried under the surface here on, on, on the work. This series of nine photographs is by the artist Marine Hugonier. Um, and it's a series of works taken across the international date line, so looking from um, a small village in Alaska across the sea to Siberia, where there is actually 24 hours difference. So she's literally looking towards tomorrow into the future. Um, the interesting thing about this work is we're so used to photography describing something that happened in the past. Um, and in, in this sense, it's not usually used to look at something um, ahead or in the future. We're now going to walk into the Revilius room. Um, the works here are by a photographer, Robin Friend, who is actually interested in um, the areas that Revilius painted. But he's recorded them through photography, so some of the hidden aspects of the, of the landscape that Revilius was also interested in. We're incredibly proud here at Town of our association with Eric Revilius. Um, he was a local artist initially, um, before going to the Royal College of Art in London. Um, Town has got one of the largest holdings of his work. We hold uh, his watercolours, uh, woodblock prints, uh, and his archive as well. And we wanted to uh, have a space where we could bring all of that together for our audience to be able to see as and when they dropped into Towner and to make it feel a bit like a study room where they could come and spend time looking at Revilius's work. We've commissioned two cabinets to um, take pride of place in this room. Um, they actually um, allow us to show more of the Revilius archive, including his woodblocks, his, uh, the woodblock prints, some of the letters and some of his test watercolour sheets. Um, which is, uh, has enabled us to bring a lot more to the public view than would normally be able to be seen in our collection store.